What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So today we are cutting out the cage in my RX-7 FD. So seats out, harness is off, and uh, the firewall back there. And then we have our Chicago Electric Harbor Freight Sawzall. So hopefully that works pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not supposed to get the car back for like two weeks too. So when I get the car back, it's gonna be crunch time on painting the cage, making a new seat bracket, uh, the transmission will be in the car before I take it there, so hopefully my dad can come help me tomorrow. I don't really know where I want to start because this is kind of weird. I'm cutting the cage out, like it's not not something you usually want to do. <laughs> Seats as big as you. Shit. Who the fuck's eating pistachios in here, dude? Tell them to clean their dude, shit up. Dude, I don't know, but I like pistachios, so I'm kind of bummed that I ain't getting any. <laughs> I'm just gonna be hanging out with your boy Noah Nelson in the near future here, so I can get all those Instagram followers. <laughs> can you please follow me? I really need to get them a numbers up. Yeah, see, I'll actually put his Instagram like, like right and there. Boys making fun. You guys got 20k, dude. I got like 2,000. Fucking suck it, man. <laughs> Spent so much money on my race car that it's, it's giving me quarters back. Like, how cool is that? The car reciprocates. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels bad. So it's like, here's a quarter because like, we know that you have no money. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go, buddy. Looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking sending it, huh? Just going right for it. Well, I thought we were trying to get this shit done here, you Dude, know? Dude, I mean, we might be, we might not be. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, a guy's trying to work because I have my car and I'm doing more work over here. You just pull the camera the whole time. <laughs> hey, 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 Phil, <laughs> Phil, don't be shaking tit. Shaking tit? Taking shit, talking <laughs> shit? God damn it. <laughs> that took me a second on that one. Well, it was 22 when I first dropped. <laughs> When I first dropped. <laughs> I don't think it's all good. <laughs> so what I like to do is just keep the harnesses together with the seat on where the car goes. So obviously these are the bottom harnesses and these are the top. So I just put all those together so I know when I put those seats back in that those are the right harnesses because before I took my seats out and it was very, very difficult trying to figure out which ones go where. Pretty close to getting ready to start cutting some tubes. There you go. How do you feel about that, Detron? Oh, dude, pretty juiced, honestly. We're gonna get wild with the Sawzall. Dude, wild with it. Dude, wet and wild. Okay, I, mean, I wouldn't put it that far. <laughs> so the firewall is now out of the car. It looks kind of cool seeing all the tubes exposed. I haven't seen it like this for like a year, so it's kind of interesting. I'm um, pretty excited right now. Drinking energy drink, a little shaky. But uh, hopefully it goes pretty good. Um, definitely gonna wear some eye protection because I saw Sheldon um, actually got some metal in his eye and had to go to the hospital for that. So that was a lesson learned for me without it happening to me. <laughs> Yo, that blade's tweet. <laughs> Did you get through it? I got through it. It kind of popped through a little aggressively. We uh, might might need another blade. <laughs> yeah, blade one down. Blade one down. Dude, this thing has a lock on it. When you freaking wood it like this and you press that in, it locked it on. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we should definitely put a new blade on. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's got a nice curve to the left. It's got a cute Nothing, nothing's wrong with a little curve to the left. Yeah, no, fine. You know, people, you know, curve, curve's fine. It happens. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Oh, dude, it's actually got the perfect curve to fit. See, look at this right here. See, if I was going down like that, it'd be digging straight in down the tip. Oh, there. dude, it's See, already, it's pre-curved. This is a strategic curve. This is why you need the curve. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I think that was already there. Yeah, I'm gonna say that was already there. I don't no, think that was my fault. I don't even know what that goes to, which kind of like scares me. Oh, it's my tail lights, I think. Ah, uh, that's not that important. Eh, it doesn't matter. You don't need tail lights. Who needs brake lights? <laughs> the main hoop is now cut, so now it's just everything else. Yeah, just you know all the other stuff. Here, you just like you see, stuff, you see, know? what's what's the problem? Why, why do I have the safety mask and uh, I don't and you don't? It's now it's time for me to get in there. We definitely should change that blade though. Wow. Yeah, probably. that's a smart move. Because that, that was good for those cuts. Anything more though, Yeah. we're going to need a uh, different blade. Ow, so. ow, ow. Oh, oh, you probably sh shouldn't have done that, Filipino. Damn, dude, who would have guessed that would be hot? Dude, Terry, come on. <laughs> Just cut through some, uh, some, some steel real quick. It's definitely going to be a little it's toasty. It's cool, it's fine. Wow. Like butter. That cut really fucking fast. Fresh blades do work. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Dude, this cage Dude. was under some tension. Do you see that thing pop like that? Uh, it's probably because it's been crashed so many times. Oh, that happens. There's, there's a little stress in these tubes. It's definitely been crashed a few times. <laughs> like, 100%. Like, more than a few. More than I would like it to be crashed. And that's the ones that you know of. 
That I know of, yes. <laughs> I know it's been crashed many times besides that. So I, I think I'm gonna cut this one down here too, so I don't have to jump back and forth. Yeah? Yeah. Does that sound, uh, sound good to you? You're not through yet, guy. I had a feeling that he was like, gonna start just poking in to like the floor. So I'm trying to be smart about it, Phil. All right, I understand, Terry. Terrence, Terry. Philadelphia. Loose neck, big body ass. <laughs> big nope. body Homie bitch. looking ass. <laughs> Oh, jeez, ow. Dog. Oh. I feel like I just gave birth. Actual size? Actual nice size. Nice curve up. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we touch <touched> tips. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna lose so much weight by cutting this cage out, it's gonna Dude, be sick. This car honestly probably would only weigh like 2,100 pounds. Dude, that's like as much as me. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> fat ass, Gary. Oh! Dude, there's like shit flying out of the side of this thing. Like, it's like the fan is like shooting metal shards into my arm. <laughs> it is not chill. That's Harbor Freight, dude. What else can you expect? I don't know, but I've saved 80 bucks, so I'll deal with a little bit of metal shards. <laughs> oh, that's a nice pipe. Dude, do you ever like, you ever get your pipe and like you just want it to be like smooth? Like you just like, just like little, little. It's like, you just gotta like lather up the pipe sometimes, dude. That's some gay shit. Dude. That's some gay shit, we don't condone that. Uh, I mean, I might condone a smooth pipe. Like, who doesn't like smooth? <laughs> Like, who wants a rough pipe? Like, Stop talking. Dude, I don't want a rough pipe. Like, imagine you get a little rust on your pipe. Like, saying, you know what? Dude, you got a bumpy pipe, then you got a problem. If you got a bumpy pipe, you got a real problem. <laughs> so this tube is under a lot of pressure, and as this blade was cutting through, it was like an older blade, and then it got stuck when the cage started pressing together. So the blade got stuck in there, and uh, now we're gonna try and beat it out. Ooh, look at that cake. Ooh, what? <laughs> we are going to try and take the windshield out with some map gas. And some, a piece of metal wire. A piece of wire and a lighter to light the map gas. And we're going to shove it through the bottom of the windshield when it's like burning red hot so we can get through that like gunk stuff. And then we're gonna slide it back and forth all the way around so we can pull this thing off. Okay, so this is what we have resorted to. We have a sawzaw cutting a windshield out. Yes. Yes. Come on, no, you're strong. Oh, yes. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Okay. Is, that, is that how you do it there, Noah? Oh, just, yeah. Just a tip. Ah! You can stop. <laughs> That was aggressive. That could have really messed me up. <laughs> so we have pretty much everything cut out, but uh, the brow bar and the like the main A pillar. Uh, that's gonna be for a later. That's probably gonna be like tomorrow or the next day. I need to also grind down. There's like. Some little welds right here to get this uh, the gusset off so then everything can pop out. But the hard part is now done. So thank you so much to Dayton. He helped yeah. me out so much. So that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, cutting this cage out has been very, very stressful. And uh, I'm just really happy that it's actually coming together. I know it looks really bad now, but it will look really good soon. So thank you again to Dayton. He really helped me out. It wouldn't have been possible without him. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.